This is an overview of Botany in 8 Lessons. You can purchase it as a paperback on my website or on Amazon, or you can purchase it as a digital download. The digital version is exactly the same as the book, but it lets you go paper free if you'd like to, just read it off the screen, and then only print the pages that you need. This book is one of my two level books. Not all my books have this two level feature, but this one does. Each chapter is divided into level one and level two. So for example, plant cells is the topic for the first chapter. And level one gives you basic information that you really need to know. This would be for either younger students in elementary school, or maybe students that are a little bit science shy or that struggle. So there may be various reasons why you would just do level one. Level two stays on the same topic, but gives you a little more information gives you all the names of the cell parts, for example. It gives you a more detailed explanation of photosynthesis. It gives you actually quite a detailed explanation of photosynthesis. So you can go from level one in chapter one to level one in chapter two. You can do both levels or just one level, and it doesn't matter if you change your mind during the course of the book. In some later chapters, level two actually has some extra information that's really interesting, like poisonous plants. So you can are free to do one or both of them all the way through the book, it won't matter. So we do plant classification, and I try to make this really, really simple, very straightforward, so it's not confusing. I know a lot of students find classification confusing, but I really try to make it simple. We learn a little classification song, the audio file can be downloaded from my site. And then level two, we learn a little bit more about classification. We find out the names of some of these plants. They really have interesting stories behind them. Lesson three is about non-vascular plants, which are like the mosses. And then we have level two that has a little more information about some more vascular plants. Lesson four, the vascular system. This is all the standard stuff you'll have in any botany book, xylem and phloem, monocots, dicots, all that kind of thing. Level two, we talk about auxins and how plants grow. And then each chapter has some pencil and paper activities to do, some review questions or fun little quiz games or puzzles. And then we have leaves and trees, the names of all the different leaf shapes, the holes called the stomata, the cross section of a leaf. Again, this is all just very standard stuff you'll have in any botany book. Level two, we get a little more detailed about the leaf shapes. Oh, and here's the botany song. We we'll give you a little song to the tune of Oats, Peas, Beans, and Barley Grow for the music lovers. And then we have plant reproduction. First we talk about the ferns. And then we see the conifers. And then the flowering plants. Again, all standard stuff, monocots, dicots, little cotyledons, radicals, germination, all that stuff. Okay, so here in level two, we have some extra information. This is one of the chapters I think it's actually maybe um, pretty interesting and maybe all the students will want to do it. This has how you classify fruits and vegetables. And then we have plant adaptations. This is about desert plants. And then, the, oh, and the, uh, the giant water lilies, that's always real fun. And then level two is about carnivorous plants. That's another one where I think all the students will be interested in level two. Everybody loves to learn about carnivorous plants and poisonous plants also. And then we have plant diseases, things that go wrong. two more about plant diseases. 
and some writing activities. So that's the student text. I'll give you an answer key. Then we have the activity guide for the adults in charge. And there are a wide variety of activities. You can choose the ones that fit your situation well. There's some active games, like this one is a plant cell penny pitch where you set it up inside an entire room. There's some tabletop games, like the photosynthesis game. The photosynthesis relay game, if you need an active game. A little flip book. It's a little ATP pop gun. This is actually kind of a difficult project, a little bit tedious, good for older kids. And then there's the C3 game. Again, this is probably targeted to older kids. I'll show you the, the board. It's pretty complicated. You can color the board yourself or you can cut it out in the back. I give you some extra pages. So there's some single sided color pages and you can just take these right out of the book and assemble the board. And that way you don't have to print them as color copies. And I give you some little experiments to try with real plants, seeds, mosses. There's a thing you can do with roots. And again, these are really standard experiments you find in a lot of books. There's a leaf bingo game. And a flower dissection lab. Looking at pollen, suggesting about using a microscope to look at pollen. And there's a little experiment where you float pennies on a tin foil water lily. This is a fun game called Where Sheep May Safely Graze. It's about poisonous plants. And you learn a lot about all different kinds of poisonous plants. They're kind of rated on a scale of, I think it's one to four, about how poisonous they are. And you try to make your way through the maze without getting killed by the poisonous plants. Kids really think it's a lot of fun. And there's another review game where you find similarities, things that you've learned throughout the course of the book. There's a botany scavenger hunt that you do outside. You try to find all these structures and you earn points. And there's a review. You can use it as a final exam if you'd like to. And then there is an optional lap book. If you really dig lap books, there are activities, projects that you could make. You could just do it separately too. You don't have to put it in a lap book. But it's designed to go into a lap book to keep them all in one place. All kinds of little extra craft activities there. So there's quite a few of those. So you can skip that if you'd like to. It's up to you. There's a little pop-up picture with cactuses and then you get the the uh, color prints in the back that you can pull out.